Andre, that was one of the best matches we've seen this year at the Australian Open. Amazing level from both of you guys. Congratulations. You were down two sets to one. This was a very physical match. How did you turn this thing around and finish up on top? Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to say, I don't know, amazing match to Alex. Uh, two days ago, I said, I hope uh, we're going to show great match and spectators will enjoy it. Now I'm regret about, uh, regret about it <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't expect that it will be that enjoyable. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know, when I was losing two sets to one down, I don't know. And I think I, I broke him in the beginning and then he broke me back. And then I started to tell to myself, no, you're going to die today, but you will do everything. And then somehow I started to play better and better, and I found more energy, and uh, I was able to, to win. And what about his level of tennis? Alex has had a terrific start to the season. He's playing here at home with the crowd. What was it like for you to play against him tonight? Uh, first of all, it's always tough to play against Alex. We played a couple of times, and all of them were dramatic, like now. So, I don't know, he's one of the fastest players. Uh, the way he moves with the legs and he takes the speed is crazy. And uh, you could see it was super tough to play. I mean, uh, four hours, uh, no, not enough to, to, to say that it's super tough to play against him. So, yeah, I'm just happy to be in quarterfinal and we'll see what's going to happen. It certainly was physical. It was long. The points were grueling. You both were hitting the ball so hard. It looked to us like you were struggling a little bit with your legs in the last set. What was going on there? Uh, yeah, of course, when you play four hours long rallies and you try to stretch, uh, uh, plus I'm a bit uh, like a wood. So, of course, I start to feel a bit pain, uh, but it's normal after four hours uh, with intensity like this. So I was just trying not to think about it. I was just trying to push myself. Uh, like I was saying, I'm going to like to do everything I could. And then that's it. Uh, don't cry. Don't uh, start to feel sorry to yourself. Like, oh, you know, sometimes, oh, it's tough, too tough. And like stop these uh, things and just keep fighting. And then we'll see what's going to happen. You certainly did fight. And you, you treated this Melbourne audience and, and the global audience watching you tonight to the full Andre Rublev experience. You have so many emotions on the court that you show us, and we love to see them. What's it like to be inside your head in, in a match like this? Better not to be inside my head at this time. <laughs> I don't know, it's uh, like a scary movie, I don't know. <laughs> You know, a lot of emotions up and down that uh, I better not to be inside myself. Well, you certainly don't keep them inside yourself. You let us see it, and that makes it really fun for us. You've got more fun ahead. Your quarterfinal match will be against another hot young player on tour. Yannick Sinner awaits you now. Your thoughts on that matchup in a couple days' time? Uh, we'll see. Yannick is one, uh, one more player who have who is having unreal season uh, last year, already amazing results this year. He beat me last time, so I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, looks like I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know, I will just do my best and we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen. Well, we can't wait to see that. You broke some Australian hearts tonight, but you made some new fans, I'm sure. Andre Rublev left it all out here, Australia. What a match.